I called it. I called it. And it's a beautiful fish, guys. But we got one. Bucket list. Yep. In today's episode, we are catching some river chickens with Will from Urban Florida Fishing. And I have Cass and Eric who came down from North Carolina to knock some Miami exotic fish off of their bucket lists. If you're new to the channel and you like fishing in the outdoors, make sure you hit that subscribe button right now. Not in a minute, like right now. It's literally in the corner right here. That you Just click that little button and you can subscribe to the channel. That way you don't miss any of my upcoming episodes. And make sure you turn on your notification bell because you want that little, you want to get that little uh, notification that I uploaded something. What's up guys? Brian the CEO here. Welcome back to another episode of CEO Fishing. Today we got Will and he came down because he wants to catch one of those orange fish, those Midas cichlids that you see Mike and I catching all the time and uh, we're gonna try and put them on. Normally I use Wonder Bread but because today I'm hosting him I want to be the hostess with the mostest <laughs> and uh, we're gonna use some host uh, hostess uh, what is it classic white Nothing racial about that, guys, so don't even try and get in the comments. It's just white bread. But we are going to try and catch an orange fish right now. Are you ready to go? Let's go, baby. Let's get them. Let's do it. All right, so we're at another spot here trying to get him on his first Midas cichlid. And uh, first two spots, we saw them, but they weren't really interested. So got a little bit more of a flow of water here. And uh, let's see if they're feeding. This is promising right here. We gotta get it out to those two. Go on that line and fly fish it. All right, perfect. Perfect. It's falling right to the most beautiful fish in these waters. We see some color in the water. They're biting. They're biting. They are biting. It's just a matter of them biting the hook. Each time he drops, it's almost a race. They're coming in. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, wrong fish. Not sure. I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure they should comment below what type of cichlid this is. Look at that. It's a cool fish. It is a cool fish. He's using a bait caster to cast out a piece of bread. So some of y'all don't realize that it's actually not that easy to do. The other one's coming in. Did he get you? I got, I got the hybrid. Nice. Oh, did. oh, another one stole it from him. Oh, no, it's not the hybrid. That's the same type of fish. That's a bigger one. It's just bigger. Oh, my God. Well, if you were eating, That's doing a catch and cook, you would have had lunch already. <laughs> you ever eat one of these? Yeah. Are they pretty good? Tastes like group. Canal water. <laughs> you gotta add the extra seasoning and salsita. Actually, I do got pliers. Not on me though. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> okay, this is the one. I'm calling it now. This is the drop. Right yep. Oh, oh, that was it. That was it. I called it. I called it. And it's a beautiful fish, guys. This is a beautiful fish. Oh wow. God, look at the colors on that. Yeah, this is exactly what I came for. Oh my God, bro. Look at the colors on that fish. Wow, dude, that's amazing. That was the nicest wow. one down there. Wow, look at the colors on that fish. That is amazing. Urban Brian, Florida the fishing. CEO put me on my first mite of cichlid. Yes, yes. Right there. Wow, nice. Amazing. All right, so he got his first mite cichlid. Congrats on that. And uh, hey, the other day, I took out a couple from North Carolina to catch their very first peacock bass. 
Uh, they were awesome, so check it out. The day was miserably hot, but we still had some success. So enjoy this next clip while he's trying to catch another Midas cichlid. Hey guys, I'm Cassie. I'm Eric. We're from North Carolina and we came down to Miami to do some peacock bass fishing. All right, so they've never caught peacock bass and it's gonna be a challenge today because it is hot. It's been rainy and now it's just humid and muggy out. The water temperatures are warm. So we're gonna see if we can pull it off and try to put them on their very first peacock bass. You guys ready? Yes. Absolutely. All right, let's go. Oh, oh, Right, we got our first fish on. What is it? It is a Mayan. Well, at least we broke ice. We're here targeting peacock bass today, but the Mayans are crushing. Oh, you got someone else's line as well. All right, let's get down there. All right, got a Mayan cichlid. First catch of the day. Let him go and get another one. Actually, let's get a peacock. We broke ice on a peacock bass, guys. <laughs> it's been a hot struggle today, but we got one. That's a nice one too. That's a good fish to uh, get your first one on. Look at a largemouth next to it. You see it? Right there, it's the shadow of a largemouth peacock. Oh, it's another largemouth. Two nice large mouths chasing, chasing the peacock bass. All right. Yeah, reel down, reel down lower. Yeah. I got rod tip all the way down. Keep going, keep going. Now we can flip it out. Yeah. Got it. Flipper die. There we go. That's a nice fish. First peacock bass, congratulations. That's awesome. Nice fish. All right. Keep going back. All right. All right, we got two people knocking it off their bucket list today. Like I said, it's been a hot summertime, Miami heat struggle, but uh, we finally found a spot where the fish are biting. How's it feel? Uh, they, start, they turn sideways and use that flat yeah. part of their body and it just gives them that much more pull. You have to pick them up? You should. Get them up over the land quick. There it is. I feel like Dora the Explorer. We did it. <laughs> <laughs> Heck yeah. Not a bad first peacock bass for the both of y'all. Dude, that's awesome. Bucket list. Yep. So pretty. And it took some time and effort to get these bad boys. <laughs> yeah, it did. <laughs> pretty fish. Yeah, it is. So today is hot and muggy. The bite has been super slow. We've been to multiple lakes. We've been walking up and down the canal banks and it's just been a struggle, but we don't give up. We try to catch everything outdoors. So. Uh, catching these peacock bass it's their first time down here targeting them so they both got to mark it off their or check it off their bucket list and uh, yeah we're just out here sweating our butts off trying to have some fun <laughs> it is still hot as heck guys but i hope you enjoyed that clip of them catching those peacock bass congratulations on your very first and being able to knock it off your bucket list guys but we're still here with will and uh right now we're trying to catch a big carp Guys, the bait is all the way down right now. I mean, I don't know if you can, let me zoom in. See that little bit of movement in the water out there? That's where the bait is, and that's some carp that are boiling behind the bait. So hopefully the next thing he feels is going to be a bite.
Unfortunately, the carp did not want to bite today, but we did go back to the very first spot that we started to try to get redemption on some orange Midas cichlids that he initially lost. Give about another two inches of line. There you go. Now bounce it. Now he wants it. Oh! Oh, there we go. Yep, no, he's, he's way more aggressive. It's the speed. There it is. There it is. Yep. yep. That's oh, that's a big one, dude. That's a nice fish. A big one. Beautiful, my beautiful, beautiful. Oh, my second mite of cichlid of the day. Yes. Didn't give up on this one either. That's right. That's Look at right. that. That's wow. a stud. Look at that. Wow. These things are gorgeous. Oh, my gosh. That's it. That's the episode. I, I appreciate everybody for coming to fish with me. Um, and that's it. Make sure you hit subscribe and turn on the notification bell right now and give this video a thumbs up and drop some comments. You know, let me know if you liked the video. Let me know what you want to see me try and do. And you know what? As usual, guys, keep your head up. Keep moving forward in tight lines. Zzz.